Agriculture Victoria has prepared a short presentation on turnip yellows virus. This was formerly known as Beet Western Yellows Virus. It is presented by Dr Peter Trebecki, Research Scientist at Grains Innovation Park, Horsham. This slide illustrates the green peach aphid on the left and a canola plant that is displaying turnip yellows virus. I'll now hand over to Dr. Peter Trevecki. Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping safe. I'm Piotr Trembitsky Opira from Agriculture Victoria Research in Horsham and I'm a research scientist working on different pests and diseases in agricultural crops. I went to the field this morning to record this video and give you an update on the virus and aphid uh, situation but the wind noise was horrendous so with uh, the combination of the wind noise and my accent I thought uh, <laughs> you're going to really struggle to understand what I'm saying therefore I decided to come inside nice and warm uh, and record from my home office as you can see they at the back uh, so turnip uh, yellows virus uh, what, uh, or what we used to call it bit western yellows virus can be very damaging in canola, chickpeas, field peas and lentils uh, also infect other crops and a uh, number of weeds but you know those, those ones are probably the most um, important for us when they get infected with the virus uh, you probably remember the outbreak of uh, this virus back in 2014 when large part of uh, canola production was uh, decimated by this virus especially in, in southern uh, Australia. Uh, turnip yellows virus uh, is spread only by aphids uh, and the green peach aphid is the main vector uh, in southern Australia uh, but also up in western Australia. There are other insect vectors, other aphids, but you know uh, this famous bit, uh, green peach aphid is the, the main concern. Also what I want to add is that uh, turnip yellows virus it's not transmitted through, through seeds and also we cannot transmit it by touching plant, uh, you know infected plant and non-infected plant. Only infection is going to happen when aphid feeds or pick up the virus from infected plants and go into healthy plants. So when you're going with your tractor or you're walking through the crop, uh, you can uh, transmit the virus. Early infection or when plants are young is the time when the virus is going to have biggest impact on yield and quality. We uh, want to reduce or prevent as much as we can uh, early uh, virus spread into the crop because once infected we cannot remove the virus from the crop uh, the, therefore minimizing the spread into the crop is currently only option we don't have chemicals and on anything like that that you can spray on infected crops to rid of the virus uh, and depending on growing conditions or, or if the plants are under stress from lack of moisture or weather or whatever uh, the symptoms expression is going to sort of show the most but um, minimizing uh, the spread is only option to, in controlling the, the, the virus. Uh, this uh, growing season is shaping so far ideal uh, for a virus and aphids persistence uh, and we have been uh, getting nice amounts of rain which maintains Greenbridge as well as cells on canola and other uh, virus host plants. And we already seen increased aphid uh, number from our solar powered suction trap and uh, yellow sticky traps uh, that are located at Agriculture Victoria Research Farm New Horsham. I've been getting also emails and phone calls from growers and agronomists, especially from the uh, southern part of Victoria. Uh, that you are increasingly notice aphids uh, as well as typical symptoms of turnip uh, yellows virus uh, which uh, in canola are yellow and purple discoloration and stunted growth especially in spring, spring so canola at the moment as we're waiting for uh, current 
crop to germinate or be sown. We did uh, also a virus survey of Greenbridge uh, in around Horsham recently, which show large percentage of turnip yellows virus, which to me is quite concerning. So uh, as current weather conditions uh, are quite conducive for virus spread, now is the time to um, monitor your crops or paddocks as well as adjacent vegetation just to make sure that you know you don't have uh, you, you, you don't have green bridge uh, make sure that weeds and volunteers cell on canola and pulses are removed I think you know this is critical um, because when you have already uh, load you know virus load uh, around your crops going to uh, potentially really affect the virus transmission how much infection might have in your crop. Keep eye on the aphids because you know they'll, they'll, they are transmitting the virus and also uh, treat plant with insecticide if uh, necessary. I think that's really you know now is the time to keep an eye on all those things and uh, it's as it's very critical more than uh, in last couple of years. Uh, also um, if you uh, if you need more information feel free to contact us uh, uh, or if you see uh, aphids or virus symptoms and you're not sure what to do about it, you can also visit the uh, Agriculture Victoria website or Grains Research and Development Corporation website for more information. I'd like to thank Dr. Peter Trebecki for his presentation and for any further information, please visit the Agriculture Victoria website or the GRDC website. Thank you.